Scotland is a majestic country full of mountains, endless coastline and diverse nutrient-rich underwater landscapes. But some of this country's incredible treasures remains hidden to many and are only found by those willing to immerse themselves in the search. It's here from John O'Groats and surrounding islands Orkney and Shetland that you may get to see some amazing marine wildlife, including iconic orca. This part of Scotland, together with Orkney and Shetland, is a hotspot for seeing orca, particularly in late May and early June. Sea-Watch Foundation, who work to protect whales, dolphins and porpoises in the UK, organise Orca Watch every year. It's just one of their citizen science projects involving the public to help collect this vital information on the huge diversity of marine mammals in our UK waters, including the iconic orca from this very special place. People come from far and wide, all with the hope of seeing orca and the northern community of pods that can be found up here. There's a real buzz around finding the orca. Some people who have never seen one before, some people who have seen them many times before and come here year after year. The buzz around seeing orca is what brings people here, but whilst out on the water, there's also a really good chance of seeing other amazing marine animals like minke whale, Risso's dolphins, harbour porpoise, grey seal, and also the harbour seal, which is what the orca are here for and have been seen targeting. Cetaceans are under threat by many different things, including noise, water and plastic pollution, by being accidentally caught through bycatch, and also vessel strikes. Orca Watch started about 10 years ago in response to a development for some tidal turbines in the area. And it wasn't clear back then on how marine mammals use the area, in particular orca. So scientists wanted to understand a little bit more about their distribution, their status, how they were using the area in terms of their populations. So we could understand if the development was going to cause them any harm. Uh, so we come from a science-based background. Um, so aside from just going out and trying to have a look for them, we want to try and contribute to science itself. Yeah, I think that contributing to community science data is really important and getting the whole community involved with things like the sea means that people care about it more. Um, and it's always nice to find a new place in the UK that you can see such exciting species. Yeah, uh, a lot <laughs> of people think orcas are like Iceland, Arctic, Norway. So knowing that you don't really have to take a plane, you can just drive up through the country you're in. Um, really, really like excited just to come up here. Christy spotted these two large male bull dorsal fins. These were our first orcas we've ever seen, so we were like ecstatic and bouncing around. So we jumped on the ferry and then you just heard the captain scream, 12 yeah. o'clock, and there was just an orca right off the bow of the boat. Um, it was incredible. There was two of them, two bulls, I think. Yeah, two Ulfer bulls. Ulfer and Trinky. Ulfer and Trinky. Um, you saw them for a minute and then they would just disappear. And then it just appeared on the other side of the boat. Harry screamed, uh, just swam under the bow of the boat and <laughs> just looked over and Harry was crying behind the lens of his camera. Yeah. It was amazing. It was honestly a life-changing experience just seeing. Oh, it was incredible. Like, massive cetacean right in front of your face. So it was amazing. <laughs> The dedication and passion of the volunteers here really comes through. People are watching all hours of the day, from the first light to the last light, with the hope of catching a glimpse of that first fin, a splash in the water, and also seabird activity as well, because that can often mean that there's something underneath the surface. And that is the real beauty of citizen science and these types of projects and events because you have many, many people with eyes on the water all watching, either from the land, from boats. All of that information really starts to build up a picture of whether they're using the area for feeding or using it to migrate and travel between different areas. So the, the information is hugely important. All the information that the volunteers collect on their orca watch sightings is very important because it helps us to monitor the species in the area 
um, helps us to monitor the, the size of the populations, whether they're declining, whether they're getting bigger, and also to monitor whether there have been any calves born. It enables people to, to keep an eye on the populations and how they're doing in the UK. The sightings that we collect during Orca Watch and National Island Dolphin Watch are collated into our sightings network, which is one of the biggest databases and longest standing. These sightings are then shared with environmental and government bodies to help to protect and conserve UK cetaceans. Anyone can collect data when they're out at the coast or when they're out on the sea, and there are hints and guides to helping identifying cetaceans and also to understand the protocols. For those who want to develop the skills further, we have a two-day in-depth cetacean surveying course, uh, which consists of videos, presentations and lectures. We have quite a few volunteers up in the north and northeast of Scotland that collect um, the information for us, but it's done on a daily basis if they're you know, out and about, um, and it's not specifically just for the orca around this time of year, you know, it's for all the different species that, that come past. If you go out to do a watch and you don't actually see anything, it's a very good still to record that information because the sea state, the swell, the weather in the area, all those type of things are also very important information that needs to be recorded for that area as well. Bottlenose dolphins are just one of the cetaceans you can see across Britain, with two main coastal populations in Scotland and Wales. At these spots in the Moray Firth and Newquay, they receive protection as there is lots of human activity. Children can play a part in helping them thrive through becoming a guardian of Britain's dolphins with Sea Watch. Orca Watch helps remind us all how accessible science can be and that anyone can help to protect whales, dolphins and porpoises by volunteering to conduct watches on land and at sea.